All right, we're back. And now, let's get into the next area of the Duke's archives. Hey, man. Go away. Oh, okay, so it's gonna be like that. All right. And go away. I probably should have rested up. But I'm sure I'll be fine, right? I've still got 18 Estus flasks. And I can always get the next uh, bonfire, which shouldn't be down. Hey! Give me your trident! No trident? Oh. Okay, so I can't get to that yet. Hey, you! Go away. And you... I cannot question how much pain these undead must actually be in if they've been crystallized. Because they've got crystals actually sticking out of their bodies. I can't imagine that's actually not painful at all. Okay, so now... We have that Avalon to get, but we can't get it just... Okay, you need to die. Get out. So, the reason that we can't get it just yet is simply because if we try to, we're just going to be killed by the archers. Which is not ideal. And that is why we will not be going for it just yet. Just yet. But rest assured, it will be happening. Because the Avalon is great. Or at least, it was great. Now, I was playing Dark Souls 2, and I have to say... Well, not yet, of course, but I mean, like, in the past. This guy was dual-wielding Avalons. And I already told this before, but he's just... It was the, uh, hacked version of the Avalon. And it was so agitating. I think in, uh, I think it's Dark Souls 3. I can't remember where they actually have scaling, or if they even do for that matter. Go away. I just can't simply remember where the crossbows were actually good. It might have just been Elden Ring, though, because... I don't remember them actually ever being great, or even good for that matter. There's nothing that way. Great, so now we can just turn this around. We'll get the Avalon in a bit. See, there's nothing that way and nothing that way. So now we gotta go back this way. And I believe there should be something over here? No. Okay, great. Wasted time, that's what it was. Wow! Can't wait for more of that. Hey! Go away. There. Now, Dark Souls 2 was actually a pretty great Dark Souls, in my opinion. Very underrated, and I honestly don't understand why people actually hate on it. It's really a mystery to me, to be honest. Because it was actually still a good Dark Souls. It even had even more secrets than just normal Dark Souls 1. Which, again, it's still a secret, or rather, it's still a mystery. You know, why, people, why do people hate it? I just cannot imagine why, other than the fact that, from what I was told, Miyazaki wasn't exactly the director of it, because they went ahead and worked on it while, you know, he was doing Bloodborne. Give me your trident. Nah. No trident. Boo. I need the trident. Let's see, uh, not a mimic. Strong magic shield. Cool. Is there something that way, though? Doesn't look like it. No. Great. Let's keep going, then. We need to get, uh, what's-his-name's key. That's weird. I don't remember it being this way. Unless I turned it? I must have. And I just don't remember. Weird. Okay. 
Hey. Guy. Goodbye. Caduceus' kite shield. Nice. Can always use more of that. And now you. And now you. There should be a guy I can snipe. Yeah, right there. My question is, can I actually hit him without it going into the... No. Oh, good. Elden Ring all over again. You aim, but it just hits the thing right in front of you. And it even ends up floating in mid-air. Goodbye. Goodbye. Crystal Straight Sword. Can I actually snipe him from here? Yes. Goodbye. Oh, he fell. Oh, ow. That hurt. That actually really hurt. Crystal straight sword. Come here, you. But is there a vagrant near here? No. I don't know what you're aiming at, but all right. So now, there should be... Now, I know a Vagrant sometimes spawns right up there. And I actually saw it once while I was just kind of AFK waiting to be summoned. Oh, come on. There, get out of my way. And I saw one up there and I kind of sniped it. Now, the problem is I couldn't get the items because, uh... Or no, wait, you can because it just automatically comes to you because... Right, right. Now I remember. So now we're supposed to go back up. Because there should be that pathway over there that's revealed, but also we need to go up here. Oh yeah, that's why I need to turn it. So that, that way I can get the shortcut. That's right. And turn it. There's nothing that way. Good. I don't like missing anything. This guy can die. Take it in the crotch. No. Alright, he's dead. I don't like him anyway. He's a jerk. Bop. And open up. Let's grab this chest. Blue titanite chunk. That's not the key that I'm looking for. So where is it? Uh, that should be it right there, probably. Uh, no, it's the six-eyed channeler's equipment. Is this it? No, that's a crystal ember. Not what I'm looking for. Oh, this is a mimic. And you're dead. Symbol of Avarice and Enchanted Falcon. Nice. What about this? Archive Tower Giant Cell Key. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for to free him. But before we go and do that, we need to go clear out the enemies from the previous room. Because we'll also, hopefully, that one guy will drop me his trident. Instead of being stingy. Now, if they want to be stingy, that's fine and all. I can easily uh, finish up this area and then go kill them over and over and over again until they just drop me the trident. In which case, they better hope unless they like dying over again. Which I'm completely fine with because that gives me souls, which I'm gonna need. Goodbye. Alright. Come here, you! No. Goodbye. Trident? Trident? 
No. No trident today. No trident. Alright, so now we need to go back up, so that that way... Yeah, we just need to go back up. Because now all the archers are dead, so I won't be sniped as I come back down. So, if that makes any sense, that's basically how it is. Now my question is, can I actually go there from here? Yes, I can. And then I just kind of walk on over. Before I do anything stupid, let's ring of sacrifice here. Just in case I do anything stupid. Alright. Got it. Avalon. Mine now. Alright. So now that that's taken care of... Hey, you. Uh-uh. We can go all the way back to... We can go all the way back to Logan. Now that that's over with. So we'll cut back when we get back to Logan. Logan! My friend! Buddy, buddy pal! Here it is. Hey, man. Oh, thank you. That, I... Yes, you're, you're free now. You're free. Isn't that nice of me? I think this is just Firekeeper Soul. Yeah, but I can't really pick it up because, you know, I already have one and you can't carry multiple apparently. So, now that that's done with, we're going to be on the next episode going into the Crystal Forest. But, for now, we're going to go back all the way to the bonfire and then we're going to go meet with uh, B Logan again. So, we'll cut back again. Okay, I don't know how this guy managed to reach here before me when I was running the whole entire way. But he managed to reach here before me. Hey, man. Hello there. This I I Purchase. Cool. Ah, if you have fought him and were in prison, is it... Uh, yep, I already the know. Tome store, uh, uh, yep. The tome store... Oh, no, I, I, come again. That's cool. And now he will have gone insane. But the good news is I managed to buy his sorceries. So there's that. But until then, we're going to cut it there. We're going to farm until we get the Chandler's Trident. And then we can get the weapon that I'm looking for finally. And then we'll basically just be able to finish this game without any problems. Other than just basically refining the weapons. So really. So until then, we shall see you all in a bit.